Marina here it's a, a, a beautiful it's a safe haven and it's a lovely shelter and as well sheltered and safe uh, for all uh, the births here and there's a good team uh, here who look after as well well manned and they've actually took pride in receiving uh, a five golden anchor uh, accredited to them uh, award and they they have held this here from 1996 and it's a lovely uh, marina and you know <clears throat> today you know I was just thinking of the many boats a lot of them are sailing yachts here that were the mouth of the lock here uh, as many would race their yachts here I'm sure uh, in the summer and uh, but there's quite a number of fisher boats here and a lot of the men here <clears throat> a lot of the fishermen if you're a fisherman around the, the Arch Peninsula and, and around this location a lot of the fisher boat men go out at night time to do their fishing whenever I'm down in Benone I see many out, out at sea at night casting their nets <coughs> and then they come in and they mend, you can see them mending their nets and you know as I thought about this here I was thinking about Luke's go, uh, Gospel the third book in the New Testament Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11 if you haven't got a Bible let me know and I'll get you a Bible but if you have a Bible you can look it up and read that portion uh, for yourself and we were reminded there how the Lord Jesus Christ, he was at the Lake of Galilee. And uh, there was uh, two uh, boats sitting uh, at, as we would say, at the marina in, in Galilee. And uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, he went down and he went into uh, Peter's boat, Simon Peter's boat. And uh, he told Simon to to go out from the shore a little bit and then he started to teach from the boat from the boat and then after that there he said to Simon to go out into the deep and to cast his nets but Simon Peter said listen uh, we we have we've toiled all night we've worked all night and uh, cast our nets and we've caught nothing but he says because you have said it I'll do what I'm told and that's exactly what he done and he couldn't understand how he caught a tremendous a boat, not one boat, but two boat fulls of fish. There was, there was the other boat, they, they beckoned on them to come and give them the hand, uh, give them a hand, and the, both boats were filled with a great drought uh, of, of fishes, which they'd caught. And, you know, uh, it was great fishes we read about. And, you know, there's every, there's every fish, from small, I'm sure, medium to large, but they were all caught and they were drawn to the shore and Simon Peter he fell down on his knees and he said I confess to the Lord I am a sinful man and you know he realised what great things can be done when the Lord is in it and you know that uh, reminds me of it doesn't matter how many uh, and all the people of this whole world uh, whether it be from a child to a teenager to an older person <coughs> there's different uh, there are different sizes of fish and there's different uh, ages of people but salvation God's salvation is unto you all and, and the Lord said to Simon Peter listen because you've done this and you've caught these, this great catch of fish he says you're going to catch men in other words what he was saying follow me we have it in another portion of our, in, in the Gospels in Matthew chapter 4 I think it is in verse 19 in Mark chapter 1 and we read the Lord Jesus Christ says follow me and I will make you fishers of men and you know that's what I am doing I'm following with the Lord I'm following my Lord and see it's only a follower that can become a fisher of men and you know dear friend I ask why I do my little messages because I want to fish for men and women to tell them and how do we do that to tell them the gospel so that we can advance the kingdom of God and to point men and women and boys and girls to the only saviour who can save them and you know we don't uh, we, we are a fisher of men that's that right but you know we don't uh, force anybody 
we 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 leave it uh, to the spirit of God to deal with a a, a, a precious soul that will be led to the Lord Jesus Christ, and it's uh, salvation you see is of the Lord, and it's not of man, but we are only a weak vessel, and we feel our weakness, and we know our weakness, but we've got a great Saviour, and we, and the Lord Jesus Christ, He has asked us and those of us who are saved, if you uh, if you're listening to your little message this morning, the Lord Jesus Christ wants you to become a fisher of men. And I wonder where have you been fishing at this week? And you know, every one of us, we have our job to do. And Simon Peter, no doubt this was his trade. And he had his own boat. And I'm sure it's a family trade. And you know, he'd done it many times. And he couldn't understand. He fished all night and he caught nothing. But you know, whenever the Lord is in it, you know, much can be done. And the Lord told him, listen, throw out your nets into the deep. And they caught a great drought of fishes. And what uh, this opened the eyes of Peter. And you know, he says, The Lord says, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And what did he do? Whenever they come back to shore, he left all and he followed Christ. So did James and John also, who were mending their, their nets. They left their nets and they went and followed Christ. You know, there's many fish out, in, out there, there's many fish that need to be caught, that need to be saved. And you know, dear friend, this is our prayer, my prayer, that you too will be saved. You know, uh, the Lord has asked me to become a fisher of men, and that's what I want to be. And I, that's why I, I, cast, I cast out the net, as it were, in the gospel every Sunday morning. And I just long for a big catch. I just long to see souls been reached and gloriously saved. Because you know, uh, it's only... Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ that can keep you as we're looking at this lovely marina here in Bangor and how these boats is safe and secure and sheltered. It's only in Christ that you can be safe, that you can be secure and that you can be sheltered. You know, the, the little chorus uh, where some sometimes sing, <coughs> I have an anchor that keeps the soul. You know all these boats are anchored and tied, but you know I have an anchor that keeps my soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. It's fastened to the rock, which cannot move, and it's grounded firm and deep in the Saviour's love. What are you holding on to? What are you resting on, dear friend? Why not trust Christ as your Saviour and know heaven is your eternal home? How can you be saved? By somebody confessing your sin and like, like Peter, he said, I am a sinner. He fell on his knees. Just realize you're, uh, that you're a sinner and believe that Jesus died for you. And if you do, you too will be safe and sheltered from coming judgment. May God bless you this morning and thank you again for listening to these few stammering remarks here from Bangor Marina. May God bless you. And if there's anyone who would like a wee chat with me, or even a wee visit, don't be afraid to message me. And as I've said at the beginning of the message, if you don't have a Bible, don't be afraid to contact me, and I'll make sure and get you one. May God bless you, and thank you again for listening.